Hi, it's Jen from Tater Tots and Jello, and today I'm going to be showing you how to stencil pillows with Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. Um, it's a really fun way to personalize a pillow and um, very inexpensive. Instead of having to purchase stencils, you use the Scotch Blue Painter's Tape to put on a design on your pillow. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So here is our supplies that I'm going to use. First of all, I have the painter's tape, and then I have some different colors of paint that I'm going to use. And also, you can use this, um, this fabric medium. Um, I'm using Martha Stewart, but there's uh, different brands also that you can buy. And you just add this to your paint, and it makes it so that um, your pillows will be washable and they're softer. It makes the paint a little bit softer. So I'm going to use that. And then also you need a little roller. And I'm using this little Martha Stewart roller, but you can just use um, just any kind of foam roller of small size. And, um, and then I will show you how to put your pattern on your pillow covers. These pillow covers are from Ikea. All right, here's another um, pattern that I've done with tape. And um, one other thing I wanted to mention was put something inside of the pillow cover before you paint on it. That way, if something bleeds through, you won't ruin the back of your cover. So I'm just going to put some paper inside of this pillow cover, and then I will get started with the painting. Now it's time to paint. So what I've done is I've I have my roller and then I put my my paint uh, fabric medium and some paint in this little cup and mix it around and then poured it into onto just a, a plastic plate. All right, so I cover the entire roller with paint. And then it's pretty wet, so I'll just take off a little bit of the excess on a paper towel so that it's not super wet. And I come over to where I'm stenciling and I just start stenciling paper, the fabric and just evenly applying the paint. each section like that. First thing you want to make sure though before you start stenciling is um, go around each of the edges of your tape and make sure that the, the edges are sealed really well and that way you will not get any paint underneath the tape. And I kind of just push in from the edges of the tape and that way I'm not pushing paint inside of the tape, under the tape. Just like that. So I, I'll do that for the whole pillow and then let it dry and then I will peel the tape off. The last thing to do is just to peel up the tape from the pillow, revealing the cover underneath. That's all there is to it. And here are the pillows all done. I think they're, it's a really fun project and thank you for joining in the tutorial of how to make taped pillows with Scotch Blue Painter's Tape. And I'm Jen from Tater Tots and Jello. Thank you. Bye.